saying damn it damn so it's like it works like smash basically this is just like the, the, the i guess crap. the higher the damage you are like the worse yeah you're off yeah it's like um super crab bros super crab bros yeah. yeah it's like the crab crab version of smash bros cool Everybody Ooh. stay at the YMCA. And YMCA. Everybody stay at the Christmas crab. Oh damn. Oh. Oh my god. You know that reminds me of like, like two Jedi. You know, with lightning powers. Just you know going at it. Right. Jesus Christ. Holy. This you crab, this is like a genetically modified crab with like soldering iron fists. Yeah. He is cheating, dude. And lightning. Yeah, this crab is cheating. Jesus This cannot Christ. be like crab legal. Kills, I think. Oh, That's... wait. <laughs> why, are you, <laughs> why are you flying through the air? <laughs> Dog, this is like a god crab. You know, he's got like soldering iron for fists. He's... He's just fighting other crabs he can fly. This is like a god yeah. crab, dude. Iron crab. Uh, I should have gone for hard. Iron crab is here to save the day. <laughs> it's a kaiju oh. fight. <laughs> crab and the Knights of the Round Table, or whatever that Sonic game was the... called. What was that Sonic game <laughs> called? Yeah, I think I think it's Sonic Knights of the Round Table. I remember playing those games when they came out, and I did. I enjoyed them. Really? Yeah. If I probably play them now, I'm pro I probably like this is shit. I went. I went through. I went through Sonic and the Secret Rings without upgrading Sonic, so he was like the same speed and stuff, like the same stats throughout the whole game. <laughs> and you still like, really hard. It? And I yeah, and I still beat it. And then I played it a second time, and I'm like, holy shit, I can like upgrade him. <laughs> like he got so he got so fast. Like I couldn't even like. Be able to keep up with like what was on the screen. Really? Yeah. My God. Yo, he's got a sword. Watch Yo, out, guys. he's got a sword. Grab the sword. Ugh. Ugh. Use your lightning claws. <laughs> with the power of, with the power of my power. soldering arm, I vanquished the. You remember when we uh, soldered a fly or something in uh, class, high school? A, a fly? Yeah. Wait, a fly? Oh, it might have I, been, I, don't, I don't know. It might have been me and somebody else. Uh, it might have been you and somebody else because I don't remember soldering a fly. Well, it was dead, but yeah, we soldered it anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you soldered a fly. A dead yeah, fly. Yeah, it was you and somebody else because I, I just did it normally. Where are they going to add Minecraft Steve to uh, fight crap? Uh, honestly, it's getting destroyed, my dude. Well, I bet it's an to I beg to differ. You're at 90%. Oh, you're destroying him. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, you still win. I mean, damage damage doesn't matter as much as, like, flipping them over. Oh, okay. So once you flip them over, like, you're done. Oh, the higher the percentage, the easier it is to flip you over. Oh. That, oh, wow. shoot. Whoa. You what was destroy that? that guy. You ever hear about that one crab? Um, that, like, uh... Basically, there's this like Japanese village with like a legend about how like oh if a crab has the shape of like a boy or something like vaguely like the shape of a boy in its shell, <laughs> you gotta like let it go. And so like um, basically what's that. happened is like the crabs around this village they've been forced to like evolve shells that are just like the shapes of like vaguely like the shapes of like a human boy into their shells uh -huh. because like those are the ones that are least likely to be caught by fishermen. I, I've never heard that before. Man, the ocean is a weird place, man. I guess. Or maybe, like, terrestrial life is, like, weird, because, like, I don't know, isn't the ocean the majority of, like, all life? Yeah, that's true, yeah. That would make sense, yeah. Well, then these two were fighting each other before. Without, Should let like, them fight it out. Yeah, let them fight it out. You're just, you're just getting like sandwiched between the two. Yeah, let him do the dirty work for me. Oh, yo, I'm holding a chair. Crab with no. a chair. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, yo, oh. it just took one hit. 
chair, the ultimate weapon. It's scientifically proven that if you use a chair, you'll win 100% of the time. <laughs> a chair against a crab, of course. It's their natural weakness. Their natural enemy. You remember the crabs from Finding Nemo? Yeah, I remember those guys. Those guys were assholes, dude. They were. You know, like Nemo's all like, hey, I'm lost. Like, can you help me or something? Like, help me find my dad. And there's like, fuck, fuck you. But this is oh, retribution crap. for Nemo right now. The one crab, you know, saw it, saw them, saw them bullying Nemo. assholes, and now he's like getting yeah, back at them. Yeah, no, he's, he's getting revenge. You shouldn't have said that to that kind little boy. It ends up killing his whole his whole clan. <laughs> Atachi style or whatever. Ends up of ends up night. pulling an Atachi. Yeah. Yeah. That's called uh, killing your get, killing your whole um killing, killing your whole your like whole um, clan ethnicity or like clan and or whatever. Bloodline. Yeah. yeah. That should be called an, pulling an Atachi. That's, yeah. I mean, to be fair to Atachi, it was his job. Like. Yeah. But he could have turned yeah. it down. I don't know. He could have quit the ninja forces. Nobody said he had to do it. He could just quit. Yeah. Well, he did it anyway. For whatever reason. It was the I I think the the Chia clan was gonna like overthrow the village or something like that. And then the the Hokages was all like, nah, be <laughs> kill, kill the kill the Uchiyas. Kill the Uchiyas. I taught you get him. Hey, the only people in that show that are like cool and straight and all that, like got their lives together. Um, or like Guy and Kakashi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rock Lee too. Rock Lee doesn't have any problems. Hyper mode. Go hyper mode. How do I do that? Press whatever that is. I don't. I don't know what button is that. Little. I don't know. Oh oh oh! We went. We went. Yeah. Flip. I've gone ultra crab. Ultra instant crab. Go. Uh, Super Saiyan crab god two. Look at him swing that thing around. That could be that could be taken out of context. Uh. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Look at how it just hangs. <laughs> Look at him, he's just flopping it around like crazy. It's just swinging it around. The chair. We're guaranteed to win now. Oh boy. Let's see if we can grab like a second chair in the other claw. <laughs> yes! We are the ultimate life form. I am one of the few crabs of this generation that can dual wheel chairs. No, oh, chairs are gone. Uh, hello Twitch, this is your daily reminder to please uh, uh, subscribe and um, um, donate and all that because my PC is currently running on cow manure. Thank you. Yes. Have you ever eaten at a Chinese restaurant? Uh... Like an actual one, like yeah, because like like, the or like like an authentic one. No. Yeah, no. The most experience I've ever had with one is like Panda Express. That's like the closest <laughs> I've got into Chinese cuisine. Well, I have I have had like authentic like Chinese food. It was so good. Yeah. That time I went to uh, UC Irvine with uh, Bramer. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, she took us to a restaurant. That was also the day that one of the one of the students also we were in the van and like we hit a bump like we were in the back of the van and like his he was eating he was eating as we were as they were driving and like the food just went all up in the air and just landed all over him and me and only us two though everybody else was fine <laughs> and then uh what was he eating he proceed he proceeded to eat the orange chicken off Dude. of the floor oh my god that is great. and the and the noodles Dude. off of his sweater. Like a school <laughs> van? <laughs> yeah. Do you know yeah, how the filthy school, those school van. vans are? I know, the door was so... Just... You ever Grab hear about that, like, um, that one Chinese day where like they, they eat like a lot of bugs? Um, no, I've never heard of that. There's like one out there like where they're known for eating bugs and whatever. And like uh, there was like some documentary crew out there and uh, there was a family that grew like cockroaches and ate them. Uh, and so like in the video like the guy like grabs like a bunch of live cockroaches and puts them into a walk and like one One out of them just escapes and runs away and I've, never stopped, <laughs> I've never stopped thinking about him You know what he's doing him. right now They, they kill, he's probably plotting him right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for killing his whole clan 
Yeah. His old clan, yeah. The guy's like his Atachi. I mean, all the ladies from Naruto are alright. Except for Sakura. Well, yeah. like personality-wise. Everything-wise. <laughs> yeah. Sai, Sai, was like, yeah. Sai was like a hundred times more useful than Sakura ever was. Actually. And a hundred times hotter. Oh yeah, no, Sai would, would smash 100%. Yeah, 10,000%. You see those like tight boy cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, 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 which Naruto characters do you think are packing? Like, um, Sai, obviously. Sai, obviously. I think like the Wood Sensei. I, I, I'm putting my money on the Wood Sensei. The Wood Sensei, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's literally in his name, Wood. You know? Yeah, <laughs> he, he's they a master literally of gave, it. They literally gave him the DNA of, of like, wood, yeah. Of wood. The master of wood. Hashirama. Uh, I think I think Pain and all those guys are, are like, they, they're like acorns, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're, they're just angry that they're small. That's why they're like evil. That's why, yeah. That's why they killed Jiraiya. Yeah. God damn. You know what? Th this Chinese restaurant has a pretty good strategy. Instead of like getting Peta angry yeah. and like killing the crabs themselves, they have the crabs ki kill they each other. They have the crabs kill themselves. Yeah, kill each other. Yeah, so it's like nature. Let's, Peta let's can't. work on them. Yeah. Yeah, Peta can't complain about this. It's just, it's just crab nature, bro. Yeah. Have you seen like the horrible um, conspiracy theories about SpongeBob? Like, um, no. <laughs> I, was, I was watching this one and the guy was all like, um, SpongeBob and Patrick are actually uh, manifestations of Squidward's depression or something like that, or like <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> oh god! Like, just like, bruh, stop, please. There was like this hour-long video, and it was all like, um, mm. oh no. The the SpongeBob characters are actually. Oh, let's let's buy something. The SpongeBob characters are actually uh, humans in like fish clothes or something like that, and his proof was that um, in some gags they like take rip off their skin. Uh, you know, <laughs> just like it's just it's just like, dude, it's a visual gag. Yeah. Not everything has to be like have to has to have like this big hidden meaning behind it. It can just be that just it's a be, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just a cartoon gag. There's like this other one that's all like. Um, Squidward and Patrick are orphans, and the reason that Squidward is sad is because he has to raise them after their parents died or something like that. It's what like, dude, heck? I was watching that video and I'm like, dude, they've shown makes, SpongeBob no and Pat. Yeah, they've shown SpongeBob and Patrick's parents multiple their times. Parents, <laughs> people, people are always looking to add like sad, sad theories to like just like anything that they watch as kids, you know. You ever get into that side of um, YouTube that like believes like um, like megalodon sharks or like mermaids are like real or something, still yeah. alive and like real? Conspiracy YouTube. Yeah. yeah. My God, sometimes it's really fun. Um, this uh, this girl in high school once was telling me about uh, how how the Queen of England is actually a robot. <laughs> <laughs> They're like cyborg humanoid, and her proof was like in some videos. If you like look really closely, their lips, their lips qu quiver weird. And she's like, it's not human. They are old, what the heck? Um, probably the wildest conspiracy theory I've ever heard. Um, or probably the group of wildest are the ones about the moon. Um, there's like, uh, this like one conspiracy theory belief where people believe that the moon is actually a holographic projection put up by oh, world, yeah. put up by like world yeah. government. For whatever reason, uh, there's this other group that believes that the moon is a spaceship. Isn't that, isn't that also like the same group that believes the Earth is flat? I think so. I that would like it would like um, make sense because if the Earth was flat, there wouldn't really be a moon, would there? Right. And, like the stars in like space is just like a projection onto like a dome or something. Yeah. Well, actually, I think flat Earthers do believe that other planets are round. It's just that the Earth is special. For whatever reason, so I, I was I, I watched it um, when it first aired. So basically, for the it actually convinced me when I was thirteen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was a very stupid thirteen-year-old. Um, not that I'm not any less stupid. I mean, now. every 
everybody is just a replacement girl. Yeah. So basically for the documentary they were all like mermaids, they're real. And like their proof was like um really bad CGI renders of mermaids. <laughs> like like every single shot that they had, it was like first of all, every single so shot that they had, it was like purposely made to look all like it was shot by like scared people and their like personal cameras, yeah. right? Or is it but was like, like like one of those situations where like this is a like re recreation of events or something. It was like like supposed to be like I don't know, like accurate or something. Yeah. But they had like um the um in like really tiny text at the beginning of the documentary they had those. It was like this is not like real or something, but it was so small you'd miss it. And so like in every one of their like footages, like we've got real footage of like a real mermaid. Like first of all, the mermaids would be like really shitty CGI renders that didn't really fit in the environments really that well. Uh, second of all, like you could tell that the camera shake that they added to the mermaids was like fake, or the footage. <laughs> You know, yeah. like how like in editors, you can add like sh fake camera shakes. Like they were all professionally shot. The camera shakes were fake. Like it was so obvious that it was fake, but it still convinced me when I was 13. <laughs> were you ever into Harry Potter, Eric? I mean, I watched all the movies. You know, you know the one part of the wizard world that I wish they'd show us? What? The kinky stuff they do with magic. Yeah, you bro. know they're getting wild in the bedroom with magic in that world. With magic, yeah, bro. Like you know, they're they're probably like you know, using like growth growth form growth magic on on their growth, growth potions. Yeah, things like that. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna have to do some uh, research uh, <laughs> later on. Yes, Harry Potter research. At 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 J K Rowling. How how do how do wizards perform in bed? <laughs> Do wizards use magic in bed? You need to know, this is for a research project. <laughs> At JK Rowling, um, uh, can, can wizards conjure up feed pits? <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody in the chat, tweet that right now. Hashtag wizard feed pics. <laughs> Let's get a trend going. I'm sure, I don't know, I don't know why, but the bowl cut is so popular in East Asia. Like, it's <laughs> so weird. It's like the, it's like, you know, like, 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 like the Asian, Asian, or like, or like the bob cut or whatever. Yeah. They like go, yeah. East Asians, they like go into like a, uh, a barbershop and they say like, you know, give me the man dark, you know, <laughs> they, pull, <laughs> they pull up a picture of man dark. <laughs> give me the oh. man dark. I can't afford anything. We, we broke. We crab broke. Uh, if this one character Smash didn't need, it's that wrong. Add, add Miyamoto, add Shrek to Smash. You think, uh, you think furries, like, what, like, what, like, Spongebob characters do you think, like, furries would find the hottest? Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks, really? Um, yeah, that is true. Curl the Whale. There are so many cursed images of Sandy Cheeks online. I don't know, Thick Mr. Krabs might be up there, too. <laughs> that crab booty, that, uh, that crusty. And the sh <laughs> that crusty <laughs> in the shorts. Okay, we're we'll definitely turning into a furry. That's my theory. They're putting furry propaganda down our throats, trying to make the kids gay or uh, <laughs> furries, not gay furries. Crabs. I'm Japanese, dude. <laughs> yeah, it, it, honestly, it's usually it usually is behind like the the, the awesome. Weird projects. They come out. They come out with awesome stuff, and they also come out with really weird stuff. And sometimes they come out with awesome weird stuff. Yeah. Wanna just end it here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat them. Well, you're um, definitely gonna beat them with your skills. No. <laughs> well, guys, um, subscribe and like and comment uh, so I can get a new PC, please. My PC can currently, my PC currently breaks while running Tetris. <laughs> yeah, his PC can only render like two pixels at five five frames per second. So please subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's it.